Hello there. Welcome to Positivity. Um, my name is Renee Olson, um, AKA the News for a Witch. And today is August 5th. We are here uh, doing a <laughs> single card pull. I've had challenges this morning with this crazy microphone. I plan on doing a review later this week of this product. Um, it's actually very good when you use it correctly, um, but I digress. This morning we are going to have a reading from the River Witch Oracle. So grab your tea um, and sit for a spell. Um, this tea is Rubio's tea. It is one of my favorite teas. I have a, a, a malabsorption disorder, uh, which means I can't uh, absorb nutrients from my food. So one of the things that I struggle the most with is iron. Um, I have uh, iron deficiency anemia, and I have had to be medically treated for that in the past. Um, so this particular tea helps increase your iron. Um, it also does not strip iron from it like a black tea or a green tea would um, when you're eating. Uh, so grab a tea. Um, remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm just someone who's done the research on this. So I'll always talk to your doctor before making changes to your diet. So let's do our reading. Um, this card again comes from the River Witch Oracle card. Or I'm sorry, the River Witch Oracle deck. It is available on my website at newsriverwitch.com. So we're going to pull our first card. I did it again. First card. Readers, talk to me. Why do we do that? So here's our card. Let me just make sure you can see it. And this card is the summer card. The three words for this card are abundance, playful, and an activity. So we're gonna start out with the word abundance. So abundance is going to be when you are doing things like your new moon rituals for abundance, um, your abundance check when you're filling that out and send that to you for your, um, for your bank account, for prosperity and money or abundance and money. Um, you can also use this as a way to give back, right? So you're bringing in that money or that, that reward to you. You can also use that to help someone else manifest abundance. One of the things that I do is um, on the, the Dipen or the Dark Moon, um, that's the time right before the new moon, um, I go out and I put donations in the, the Blessing Box of Goldsboro. And this is a charity I've discussed before. It is a, a local box that has food in it. It also, we put socks and rain gear and water, depending on the temperature, you know, protein bars and things like that to help those who are, um, or per, who are the food insecure or the home insecure, house insecure, I should say, um, just to help make their lives a little easier. And these boxes are intended for not only those who don't have anywhere to live or are living out on the streets, but also people who just need a blessing. You know, sometimes you just need a hand up. So that's what those are for. And I try to do my abundance rituals as I'm putting them in the box. So think about that when you're doing your abundance work. The next word is playful. Now, I think that a lot of times we forget that we are playful people. We are, we are, we have a need inside of us to be happy, right? Just be happy, be positive. You don't have to always be work, 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 grind, grind, grind. Um, put yourself in a place that brings a sense of awe. Put yourself in a place that makes you happy. Um, just being a, I mean, think about it. <laughs> I remember just last week we were talking about the, uh, the giraffe, you know, giraffe language and there's a comment in that book that talks about um, feeding ducks, right? Put yourself or bring yourself to a place with the joy of a child feeding ducks, right? Just spreading out, seeing it, looking happy, that feeling that you have inside. Enhance that playful nature. Laughter will help. It increases the brain, the hormone in your brains that make you happy. It, it, laughter is the best medicine, right? Be in a place that makes you playful. The last word is activity. Um, activity is extremely important for your body from not only from a physical wellness perspective, but from a mental wellness perspective. Um, you are going to be at your best when you are active, when you are moving, when you are thinking. 
Um, be sure to do things outside. Sunshine increases your happiness hormones. Um, the endorphins, the rush that you get from physical activity, even if you're someone who has um, mobility issues, just adding your arms to sitting will increase that, that feeling in your brain so much quickly, so much more quickly than just sitting still. Um, I know that there are some that have mobility issues and that may not be a, an option for you, but certainly look at ways that you can increase that activity um, to help yourself feel better. One of the things that I'm doing um, is, and Apple is not supporting this at all or, or promoting me or paying me at all, but I am working with the Fitness Plus on our Apple One program and I just started their high intensity workout and I forgot how much I absolutely love that um, circuit type training. Um, it sends this rush of energy to my brain and I feel pumped. I'm sure you can see the difference in my whole being just from my first videos that I started whenever I was in the trailer, when I was working with uh, the Coven of Hecate and on my, uh, on my classes on the website, just the level of energy, I feel so much better. Um, so get out there, get active, do things that make you happy. That's our reading for today. Again, this is the summer card from the River Witch Oracle. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear you uh, see them in the <laughs> in the comments section. Which tea do you like best, right? Is it is it green tea? Is it the Rubio's tea? Tell me about it. Um, what do you think about physical activity for the brain? I would love to see what you think about that. Um, take some time for yourself today. And if you have any questions, again, please reach out. And I hope you've enjoyed your, your cup of positivity today. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.